Good evening, I'm Tamon Bradley. And I'm Jackie Bang. State and local leaders have joined the push for a new police station on Chicago's southwest side. It's being led by many of the city council members who joined the community today for a rally after the mayor said he has other plans. WGN's Courtney Spinelli joins us from 63rd and Long with details. Courtney, good evening. Spoke today. Supporters lined West 63rd Street near the former Illinois National Guard Armory. Spearheading the campaign to convert it into a new police station are several alder persons, including Marty Quinn. It's a two foot putt. It's a simple one. And the mayor needs to reset his politics. This is a great opportunity. Do something for Chicago. Currently, the 8th District Chicago Lawn serves the second largest geographical area, but it has the lowest officer to resident ratio. During the March primary, an overwhelming number of voters said yes to a non-binding referendum calling for a new police station. We need some manpower out here on the streets, just like we really need this building to be its own uh, district for the residents in this area. Josie Freeman feels long 911 response times her neighbors have faced alone shows the critical need for this to happen. Our range of support is wide. It's just that getting the mayor to act on his part. That's all we need and that's all we're asking. Governor J.B. Pritzker since signed a bill calling for the state to sell the building to the city for $1 to be used for that purpose. Mayor Brandon Johnson used federal air traffic safety rules to defend a proposed ordinance to have it be a police building, quote, used for the storage, maintenance and operation of police vehicles and equipment, including aircraft. City, county, state, federal, on all levels of government are telling you this is a good idea, it is feasible, we can do this, and yet Mayor Brandon Johnson decided he does not want to do this. In a letter to the mayor, several congressmen said in working with the FAA, they believe the armory can be converted to a police station as the law intended. Brandon Johnson want to talk about the soul of Chicago, this is soul of Chicago. There won't be a Chicago if there's no souls left. Elected officials are now asking the governor to withhold the transfer of the building. That's because the law states if it's not used as a police district, it reverts back to the state's Department of Military Affairs. The mayor is not prioritizing public safety. The mayor's office and CPD sharing a joint statement. Quote, the city acknowledges the concerns of elected officials and community members regarding the public use conversion of the Midway Armory and welcomes further discussion on how to address community safety. The city continues to work with the Chicago Police Department and our partner agencies to analyze the use of Midway Armory in light of federal regulations, budget constraints, and legal limitations. I'm not going to support a budget that doesn't include those resources for our community. That's a non-starter. We also reached out yesterday to the city's chief operating officer to ask about the use of this property and any other specifics they may be able to provide, but we have still not heard back. Reporting near 63rd and Long, Courtney Spinelli, WGN News.